Hello everyone and welcome to another episode in our let's play of Silent Hunter 4 with uh, Real Fleet Boat and Run Silent Run Deep Mods. Now, <coughs> we've been in the middle of a pretty successful patrol so far. Uh, we have sunk a couple of mercats and uh, we sunk an aircraft carrier, so we have to keep it up. So, well, we are going to patrol this area around here. Uh, according to the orders we've received and uh, yeah let's see if the good luck goes on okay we have a radar contact according to our there it is 344 344 yes, let's sir. head there a head full um, yes, sweep radar and everyone ballot stations Recharging battery. there yes, sir. Yes, sir. oh it's here yes, sir. Good. Um, let's mark it uh, we have an update almost immediate, good Initial course estimation is southwest There So we put a marker here And uh, well, let's estimate a course first <laughs> It's roughly 248. 248. Well, let's extend that in 248. Roughly here. Of course, it's not going to be completely correct, but we'll change it later. Okay, so it's coming in this line. Um, actually, I think I'm going to go east. Yes, sir. How are my course, torpedo east. supplies? Yes, sir. Aft tubes are full but I don't have any reloads probably I'll do a forward attack so to do that we need to go east and then turn towards here now one of the things I noticed uh, while um, viewing some of my videos of Silent Hunter 3 4 is that I tend to mumble a lot I say short phrases, I never finish them, and uh, that's because I think a lot. <laughs> and while I'm thinking, I think a lot of things, and I only say some of them. Of course, that doesn't make for a good viewer experience, so I'm going to try to explain more the things I'm doing, and in more detail. But yeah, so far, we have this course, and uh, the plan is going there, and then turn that way okay she's here let me take a look at this fine we can now correct the course which obviously had a little bit of um, error but you know this is kind of um, a progressive thing first you estimate a rough course for the enemy and then you start working on it okay our distance of the track is currently 5,000. Okay, so we are going to go parallel but opposite to this. So for that we need a course of 65, which I'm going to enter right now. Yes, sir. New course. That S way we will course. keep our distance to the track while moving closer. And uh, when we are within visual range, we'll start turning. 7.5 miles, okay. Uh, actually, I don't need to go this fast. Yes, sir. Two thirds should be enough. Yes, sir. Weather is clear, a little bit of move seas, not too worrisome, which is great. Good. Let's keep on moving. Okay, so we are settled in our new course. That ship is here. By the way, another of the things that I've uh, seen some comments about is that as my mouse has a lot of sensitivity, I struggle to put exactly the marks where I want them to be. But believe it or not, I can lower the mouse sensitivity at will. I have a mouse with controls for that. Uh, but I'm choosing not to do that. 
I don't want to be very accurate in my plotting. I mean, this mark here is very accurate. This thing here. Obviously, I have a nice radar, which gives me the range, but um, that radar would be a little bit inaccurate sometimes. It wouldn't give you the range exactly to a centimeter, while these plottings here are really accurate. So, by just putting the marks more or less on the spot and not fully zooming in while doing it, um, I represent the kind of errors and mistakes that you would do by manual correction. I mean, you don't have to be perfectly precise either. So, yeah, that's why I don't lower my D most DPI. Uh, okay, can we see anything? And the answer is no, not yet. Okay, let's keep on moving closer. Okay, let's see if we can see anything not yet okay roughly how far are we from a uh, target is uh, around four miles and um, three miles of the track I mean not three miles 3,500 yards mm, I think I'm going to start turning towards the track let me Take a look, uh, look and find the precise angle we need for this. And there, and there, and we need an a course of 333. 333 is here. Yes, sir. New course. Three, three, five. Yes, sir. There. Let's slow down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ahead one third. Maybe at five knots. Current speed four. We will take a little while to complete this turn. Again, that's where. For for me, the big disadvantage of the American soups versus the German ones is the single ruler. They take forever to turn. Obviously, you can accelerate the process by going full speed ahead and um, the faster propellers will activate on the rudder and you will turn faster, but still, it's, they are not maneuverable. Compared with German U-boats, no, not at all. Nice, we've settled on our course. Let me refine this there, more or less, good. And let me take a look. There she is. Not sure what she is, but seems not very big. Um, okay, first of all, speed check. Stop this. This roughly here. Uh, start the clock. Let's go yes, sir. to the exa wash. Dive, dive. And um, let me check on this. So we, yeah. well, it's moving faster than what I expected, actually. Look on this and let me take a look. Has twin, no, not this, this, has twin masts, and it's some kind of speed freighter. This? Yeah, yeah, you look like this. Not a truly exciting ship to sink, but it's ship to sink anyway. Okay, so far, that is it. What else can be? This is not. I would be really excited if you were this. And you might be. 
But no, no. This has a pretty much a straight hull. This has two dips, bow and stern. Which correspond. You also could be this. But not this. Not this. Okay, so it's either a small modern composite freighter. Or where is the other one? Or a coastal composite freighter. They are pretty much the same. I mean, it's a draft, so the same draft, the same base, base height. So both of them are good enough for me. Okay. It's two minutes, and uh, soon we will have a speed reading. Let's accelerate this a little bit. And uh, stop. You are here, more or less. And uh, from here to here, nine yacht, nine knots, yeah, nine knots. Okay, go to place pack of death. Stop this. Go to attack Die. scope. Uh, let's choose these two torpedoes and set in fast. Uh, we were saying this has an 18, uh, 12 feet of draft uh, or depth rather for the torpedoes. I'm going to send two just in case of those, otherwise, I would only spend one for this thing, but yeah. Uh, a speed, 9, we were saying, yep, yeah. angle and bow, I'm going to fire at 70 of the port bow, um, she's actually pretty close to our firing position, I might do a underwater sprint to come closer, um, yeah, let me fully raise the heat this, also let's stop at 60 yes, feet, because these waves might be a problem otherwise. Um, let me take a look. Uh, wave, get out of here. You too. Oh, you blast the things. Okay, more or less this. Uh, let's put it at 20. There, there. Ensure everything is all right. It's all right. Uh, we'll be firing at a uh, zero angle of nine, which is pretty nice for me. Uh, go back here. Let me check. We are in a perfectly 90 degree course. Uh, there. Through the zero and to the track. Actually, no, that wasn't good. Mm, here. Through the zero. To the track, and there you go. There, and uh, we might be one degree off, but one degree doesn't hurt anyone. Also, it's also a little less than that, <coughs> yeah, because it's not precisely here, it's a little to the top of this track, so the course is not this, but roughly a little bit less. I'm not going to adjust it, but that means that the angle is perfect. Um, no, attack scope. Um, take a look at this. Range of the track. Uh, when we fire, is going to be roughly around 2000. We are coming closer. Uh, 2300, rather. Let's dial that in. 2300, more or less. No need to be too precise here. Again, range don't matter, doesn't matter. A eh, pretty small thing. Open tubes. It's 
not going to be the biggest ship I have ever sunk, but hey, everything counts, you know? And I'd rather have this than having nothing at all. And after spending some patrols, finding nothing, trust me, I'm not complaining. Well, here she comes. Blood everything on the correct bearing. I'm going to spread the torpedoes a little bit here more here. She's pretty small after all. Uh, and I'm going to aim one to the forward mast and one to the aft mast. Mostly to spread them evenly. Okay. Standby. Tubes three and four. Three. Fire. One, two, Four torpedo in the water. Fire. Tube four. Okay. Now we only torpedo need to wait. In the meantime, let's order the crew to reload. So we have a total of um, fourteen torpedoes left. More than enough. Okay, any moment now. This will be happening. Torpedo there goes the first one. Straight under the first mast. Torpedo and there goes the second one. Ah, she actually fired a star cell, I think. Yeah. You are not going to survive this. You know that, right? You are too tiny, you are too small. And those two torpedoes, torpedoes are more than enough to bring you down. Down periscope. And uh, what yes, the hell? And we only need to wait. Let's take a look. Yep, this is pretty much the end of this ship. Assuming the destroyer, um, no propeller turns. Heck, every Japanese ship, even the small ones, have these big guns now. Such a downer. Anyway, and even with more with those these rough seas, this this is not going to last a lot. So let's wait until we get a sinking. And soon enough, we have it. She's going down, and um, yeah, down she goes. Oh, big explosions already! Take a look at this from the scope while we surface the boat. Yeah, big fires and um, fast sinking as well. What was that? Small motor composite fighter, yeah, I got it right. Uh, secure from battle stations. Secure from battle stations. And again, as we go up, she goes under. Ain't that nice. Gonna scope. That's quite a sight. You can also see how strong the wind is right now. And uh, sea goes under. Okay, that's a success. Let's delete all this and return to, to our patrol. Oh wow, another one? Burning 50. Holy crap, there are a lot of ships in this area, I'm loving yes, it. New Surface the boat, uh, full yes, speed sir. ahead. ahead full. Uh, at 40, so that means towards the north of me, more or less. 
This area. Well, 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 well. I'm digging this. I, I love this area. <laughs> I knew this was going to be a good hunting area when I was giving it. Nice. Obviously, it's daytime, so uh, that's against me. Because I will have to be careful not to be spotted. Also, planes are a nuisance during day. But, hey, a contact is a contact. Ooh, actually, we got a spotting, not radar. Um, yes, sir. Well, yes, stations. Sir. Yes, sir. Mark that position. And um, she's moving south. Yeah, let's turn towards the east. Yes, sir. New course eight. Yes, sir. South with a little western component. Okay, let me stop this. Put a mark here. Start. Let's begin plotting the rough course is following 188 roughly 188 roughly good uh, okay should be somewhere along here can see here, however. Let me check. So be on 3.30 or something like that. There she is. Mm, not sure what she is, but has a very big funnel, I think. Those very big funnels, I recognize pretty fast as this I wouldn't complain if, if that's the case and that's the zip but we have to see so yep let's back, go back here one minute and a half okay what's the range of the track oh we don't need to go this fast uh, let's yes, slow sir. down actually with emergency because I'm really fast. Okay, almost two minutes, and um, let's accelerate this a little bit. Two minutes. And yes, sir. now we need to go ahead. I'm going to call for five knots ahead. Now we are back in, actually. And uh, okay, oh, this moves quite a little bit, uh, roughly here. So, what's your speed? Let me ask you. And is seven knots is your answer? I'm um, mighty glad with that, so I don't need that much speed, yes, only sir. one knot should be Good enough. Speed. And uh, let's stop this, first of all, and uh, bring this up here. Uh, wish that close enough, it needs to be a little bit more to the right, there one, a little bit more there and that's a course of 187 more or less so in order to go there we need to be in 97 as well which is roughly here yes, sir. New course, nine, four. Yes, sir. 9 4 no a little more 9 7 please yes, sir. New course, nine, six. Uh, 9 6 is close enough yes, sir. 
and actually we can start going underwater she's not very fast and that when not we will be close enough to the mark and to the track when we open fire yes sir periscope death, periscope death. meanwhile let's work die, in our solution die. we were saying it was seven knots right we have forgotten it but i think it was seven knots And seven hundred was good. So um, seven. She's coming like this, so it's going to be at seventy degrees to Current start go. And we are going to fire at three forty. There. Which gives us a track of 3.47 Actually might delay it a little bit, but no, I'm happy with that Now, are you what I think you are? Let me... Uh, has This one has double masts, but that one doesn't So... No, it's not what I was thinking it was. Yes, sir. New depth. Um, yes, no, we are still far away. We can delay the. The ID, but I like to do it very quickly and very fast. And very soon. But we need her to be closer, so. Uh, give me one knot, please. Down scope, and uh, all we have to do is to wait a little bit. Okay, let me check. Is our course correct? Because it doesn't seem so, honestly. No, no, it's not. We need a little bit more to the. There. Yes, sir. New course. Yes, sir. And five. No, I need more than that. Yes, sir. Whatever. New course. Nine, eight. There. That's what I need. Okay, let me take a look. Should be around there. Not with these waves, I can't see crap. Okay, let me check. Uh, you might be this. Now, there's a little structure over there, over the main bridge. No. No. No, no, well, I guess not. Might be, oh, uh, you might be one of these. Small speed freighter. Uh, not the most exciting thing ever, to be honest. Oh, I hate these waves. She has some stripes on the... On the funnel, however. She might be this, but I'm going to look for funnel stripes. No, you are not. No. This is also funnel stripes, and uh, this doesn't. Well, this looks a little bit, but only a little bit. Honestly, I have no clue what the hell is that. And these waves are not helping! Okay, let's look for that because I don't think it's this. Um, no, I don't think this is either. What the hell is that thing? This? No, lacks the small thing on the top of the bridge. Let's see, there's a square over that part of the bridge. No. 
Well, my dear sir, I don't have a clue of what you are. I swear I don't. You look like this. Yeah, a small spirit freighter. Yeah. This doesn't have those stripes in the funnel, but the rest is, is pretty much that. And look, that boxy thing on top of the bridge is here. So I'm going to go with this as an ID. Not completely sure. I will probably do... some later recon to make sure it's this but good enough to set some torpedoes ok I'm going to use my electric car so he doesn't spot them uh, we were saying if this is it that's a draft of 20 just in case I'm wrong I'm going to use 12 12 open open we are again going to fire at 340 which give us a gyro of 352 which is pretty cool yeah because these things are quite slower um, range of the track while we shoot is going to be roughly to 23 23 I'm going to use 23 hundred there yeah, 2300 and again the gyro angle doesn't change because range doesn't matter all we have to do is to wait a little bit track him with the hydros here he comes please keep tracking this thank you bearing three one two. and all we have to do is to wait okay it's at bearing 324 which means it's coming closer to our firing position scope bearing holy crap these three, waves two, really five. Yeah. They are two back, uh, some air vents here. The stack seems of the correct height. A little bit of flare here. And yeah, she has a race for, uh, for castle, which you can see here. Yeah, it's this. There's no, there's no doubt about it. Not three, very big. Two, but well, now we know it's 20 feet of draft can actually lower this a little bit so he doesn't spot it and increase our torpedoes to go at 14 feet or even 15 why not 15 feet 15 feet and she's coming close to firing position So let's update Bearing. it. Three, three, update zero. it. Update it. And wait. Bearing. Okay. She's coming closer. Again, being this is small, because this is pretty small. Bearing. Three, three, I'm zero. going to spread one just past the for mast and one three, just three, before seven. the aft mast and stand by tubes one and two Bearing three, three, eight. waves you are really making my life miserable uh, okay fire Firing to one, one. Bearing three, three, nine. and uh, Fire tube two. Firing tube two. Bearing three, four, zero. Good. Done scope. Bearing three, four, one. Advantages of these torpedoes is they won't see them coming. So let's reload. Bearing okay, she's three, coming close four, to the track. Eight. Of the torpedoes. Four, nine. 
Ale ni terminado. Bearing 350. Maybe a little bit later because of the parallax. Yep, there we go. Actually, that was well past the point. No, I I, I delayed uh, the shot a little bit because of the waves. Yeah, that's perfectly. Second one was perfectly on the spot. Well. <coughs> Happy hunting, this one. Super nice hits. Bueno, a little left of where I expected the second exactly on point and uh, yeah, that's because the wave the waves made me miss my aim point my aim point was this, I actually fired here so yeah look at that, I mean those are what? Four me 3 meters, 4 meters of precision this method of attack is so precise Well, so all we have to do is to return to our yes, course, returning, returning to course, course sir. Yes, sir, sir. Fall speed ahead, ahead and yes, wait for her to sink, because this is not going to survive. I'm pretty sure, yeah, we have volatilized even the propeller, so yeah. I'm calling this another kill, and that's another one. Those are quite a lot for by this time, so yep, let's move ahead and uh, wait until she goes down. So yep, uh, okay, she's going down, she's going down, she's going down. I almost missed that. Yep, that's one less. So what were you? And you were a small old freighter. Small old speed freighter. Oh, they look exactly the same. Okay. And they are exactly the same. Well, another 2,500 tons to the tally. So, four mercants, one aircraft carrier so far. Not complaining. I'm liking this. Uh, okay. Surface yes, the boat. Surface the boat. Off battle stations. Yes, Surface. And as the saying goes, and as I like to say, as it goes under, up we go. Yep. This is a nice. Screenshot indeed. Okay, engage the diesels and uh, on we go. And as it goes under, we are going to call this a day and this an episode. So I really hope you enjoyed this one. Lots of action here, lots of action, lots of ships to sink, and uh, not very big. But hey, as I said, I'm not going to complain. Better to have small targets to shoot at that none at all. And yep, she's slowly, slowly going under and uh, under seas. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you had fun. As always, thank you very much for watching and see you later.